Number one, make her fantasize. Now, I know this is kind of a different topic here, but I promise this is going to correlate. Uh, what made the very, if you guys have seen it, the very first Star Wars, what made it so amazing, so mesmerizing? Why did that scene stand out above like everything else in that movie? It was because you had all these different species all coming together from different planets, different aliens. It had so much mystery. Like, what are these guys about? Where are they from? Every single alien you saw, like, it had you thinking. There was so much mystery behind all these different characters. And what happened? People got so interested. They started really leaning into this movie. People would watch it over and over and over again for years because it made them wonder. It made them fantasize. People started creating their own stories because they wanted more. They wanted to get more in depth, figure it all out. And you as a man, you can harness this same power. How do you do it? By disappearing. Now I saw this post last year that really spoke to me. It was like some video on Instagram or something and it said, I dare you to disappear for a year. And I took that to heart, bro. I remember I saw that and this is at the beginning of the time where I knew I needed some kind of transformation in my life. I knew I needed to take things up a notch in my businesses, my relationships, my marriage, everything, every aspect. And I remember thinking to myself, I thought, you know what? I'm going to take the rest of this remaining year of 2022 and I'm going to immerse myself into self-improvement, into my businesses, into my marriage and build it up as big as I can get it. I'm gonna create this momentum in my life that's gonna be completely unmatchable. And so that's exactly what I did. I locked myself away in my house right here, my kitchen basically. And I remember my friends always calling me up during those months and just being like, Yo, Dre, where you at? Where you, like, where you been? Let's hang out. And I had to keep telling them, hey guys, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm busy in this season of my life right now. But now as a result, I've been able to build myself as a man. I've become more self-sufficient. I've been able to uh, generate a lot more income, build my empire. And now it's kind of like that quote, uh, distance makes the heart grow fonder. Now when I do hang out with the bros, it makes our time together so much more valuable. And this it translates with women as well. You as a man, you got to make her miss you. You gotta make her want to desire to be with you. Make her feel like she's kind of missing out on something. I know whenever I make like YouTube videos talking about, you know, how to have better like texting game or whatever, I always talk about, oh, you know, when you're texting a girl, don't reply back too fast. Like kind of go MIA a little bit, make her kind of wonder where you're at. And why do we do this? Simply because it shows, it shows self-sufficiency. It shows that you are building something. It shows that you're a man, that you got things to do. You got priorities. And then on her end, it kind of, it starts to make her fantasize about you, about what you're doing, what you're up to. It makes her lean in a little more. And so when you apply this method, not just to texting, but to real life as well. I mean, think about it. If you're always just hanging out all the time, if you're always present, always available, it's kind of like, bro, like, don't you got a life? Don't you got anything going on? Any plans? Check it out. Most men out here, they want to be seen, right? They want to be validated. They want the attention. They want to be noticed. But a mysterious man, he's smart. He's totally cool with being alone, staying low key. In fact, he keeps his inner circle. He keeps it real nice and tight. And that's the type of man that you need to be. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying to just go completely off the radar, like a hundred percent of the time, like never show your face again. I'm not saying that. Like you don't want to be completely just absent from every person's life and your girl's life. I mean, obviously that just doesn't make sense. Of course you want the relationships to still be fruitful. So you need some sort of balance, but check it out. Disappear here and there. And I don't mean disappear as in like, just go hide away and, uh, you know, just be socially awkward and stay in your, inside your little comfort zone and play your video games and not have to talk to anybody, right? I'm not talking about that. See, there's a difference between loneliness and aloneness. I talk about this a little bit in my masculine masterclass, which I'll link down below for you if you want to go ahead and uh, get access to that. See, loneliness is just about staying inside your little shell and just staying away from the world because it's just too much for you to handle. And it's always just, you know, your life is revolved around being a recluse and just hiding away. But aloneness is about secluding yourself, but being effective at the same time. It's about what my friend Tyler says. I love how he says it. It's about making silent changes. Me personally, I make my best moves in the shadows. And the cool thing is, is when you come back into that light, when you appear again, people see something different in you. You use that seclusion for progression. See, most men don't do this. They don't disappear because they need constant stimulation from friends, girlfriends, hanging out, partying. But if you take moments in your life, seasons in your life where you 
disappear. You can create something epic. You can create yourself an empire, a type of lifestyle that a woman is going to want to be a part of. Number two, don't be so predictable. Don't be so easily categorized. Play life like a chess move. Think about it. In chess, if they got you figured out, you lose. What you want to do as a man is you want to keep people guessing, kind of keep them on their toes. I heard this from Hamza the other day. He said something like, uh, back with his ex-girlfriend or something like that, she came and picked him up in the car and she asked him like, hey, well, what'd you do today? What, what you been up to? And he's like, guess. And so like he had her on her toes, right? And she, she would guess what she, he did that day and he would just, he wouldn't even say anything. He would just laugh and she'd be like, what? Like, am I wrong? Am I right? Like, no, tell me, tell me. And it, it brought her in, right? And what that did is it stirred up mystery rather than just saying, no, I, I woke up, uh, had breakfast, went to the gym, um, hung out with my buddy, George, for a couple hours. And yeah, now I'm here with you. Even if you did have kind of a boring day like that, at least make it fun. You could even take it a step further and be like, you know, she's like, oh, what'd you do today? And you're like, ah, oh, you wouldn't even believe if I told you. And then you could tell her, take a wild guess. So keep her wondering, keep her a uh, little bit on her toes and every once in a while, surprise your girl, do something totally unexpected. We talked about here on this channel, I think a couple of times we talked about five love languages. You wanna figure out out of those five love languages, which two or three make her feel the most love and then do those things. It's a simple strategy. And what you wanna do as a man is not only do these things, but do it totally unexpectedly. If one of her love languages is receiving gifts, then think about what she likes. Like I know my wife, she likes these little uh, things in the US here, they're called squishies. It's like a little stuffed animal thing. And like just the other day, I bought her a big giant one, like this big. And actually I haven't even given it to her yet. Uh, I'm giving it to her on Valentine's Day. So hopefully this comes out after Valentine's Day. <laughs> but I got her one, it's actually, uh, it's not an animal, it's actually, it's a mushroom, because <laughs> she loves uh, she loves mushrooms. Or for instance, like the other day, uh, my wife and I were talking about this new drink that just came out called Starry here in the US. And uh, my wife was talking about how she wanted to try it, blah, blah, blah. So I took so I took a mental note of that. And then finally, when they released it at my local store, I went down and got us a little 12 pack, brought it home, and she was freaking stoked, bro. See, it's just simple little infinitesimal things like that, bro. Like you don't even need to do nothing big and momentous, even just the little tiny unexpected things. That can have a big powerful effect. And I remember she was thinking to herself the other day cause she forgot that we even had a conversation about this. And she's like, wait, how did you even like know that I wanted that? I played it cool, I played it low key, just like, uh, you know me, you know I always come through with the goods. Right there, it made me seem like a, you know, a little mysterious. Some of the best advice I was told right before I married Bree, uh, there's this dude in my life who told me, hey, Dre, my best word of advice to you is to never stop dating your wife. See, what happens with a lot of us men is we get complacent in our relationships. We get lazy. Our romance skills just kind of get stale and we become predictable. And so that's kind of like a tool that we need to constantly keep sharpening. Number three, think before you speak. Most men these days, they don't think. They have no logical sense. They just react. They're like loose cannons. Whether they get angry and spew hurtful words or uh, maybe they're on the opposite end of the spectrum. I see this all the time where guys are just too overly excited and act all silly willy. Or another thing I see all the time is guys getting too excited about what they're gonna do. They're always talking about, you know, what business they're about to start up or how they're, you know, they're about to go on this fitness journey and lose some weight or put on muscle. Like, and it's just like, it's, it's all talk, bro. Stop talking and maybe start being about it. And the sad thing about this is when guys do this, they leave no mystery. They're all just talk. They're all just flapping out of the side of their neck. No girl thinks this is attractive. Nobody thinks this is attractive. So really think about what you're gonna say before you speak. No matter if you're angry, if you're sad, if you're excited. The Bible kind of talks about this. It says, do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs that it may benefit those who listen. So that's a verse I always like to keep in my head and just kind of think to myself, hey, and what I'm about to say right now, is it helpful? Is it beneficial? Otherwise, bro, just keep it to yourself. If you got a lot of plans, if you got a lot of things that you wanna do, or you're excited about your own future, keep your head down. Keep quiet, bro. The more quiet you are, and then when you finally do speak, people are gonna lean in. They're gonna be like, whoa, 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 hold up, hold up, hey, hey, hey. Dre's talking, man, let's, let, let's tune in. What, what's he got to say? Number four, be chill, play it cool. You gotta have this calm, tonality, especially in your voice. There's gotta be this 
confident assurance that comes out of you that just exudes. See, there's two types of men in this world. You got parrots and you got eagles. Parrots are what? They're loud. They talk too much. They're annoying, bro. It's kind of like what we just talked about. They don't think before they speak. And what happens with these parrots? Nothing, bro. They just, they stay on the ground. They stay in some cage. They don't ever make big moves in their life. But eagles, on the other hand, they're quiet. They're focused. They soar high and they observe, bro. And this is the type of man that you gotta be. You gotta be like an eagle. I heard that whole quote from the Far From Weak channel. Really good channel, you guys should check it out. And I just thought that was a powerful statement. Check it out, hey, just being honest with you guys, I see a lot of dudes out here that are straight parrots. A lot of them are just wild and they're constantly spazzing out, trying to be Mr. Funny Guy, trying to be Mr. Loud Comedian Guy, trying to be the class clown. I mean, yeah, if you're in junior high, if you're like 12 years old, or maybe in high school a little bit, then yeah, that class clown thing, yeah, it, it works when you're young like that. But when you start growing up, when you start maturing, when women start maturing, they start to see life from a different perspective. They start looking at partners kind of like in a different way. And all of a sudden, once they start hitting their mid 20s, 30s, they ain't taking the class clown serious no more. They look at him like a complete weasel. What they want is security. They want a man who's got vision, direction, who stays low key and stays mission focused. Number five, stay calm in times of adversity. Now, last year, me, my parents, my wife, and my best friend Joel, we went on a snowboarding trip. And the weather was pretty bad that day. And so, long story short, I mean, we had a good day snowboarding and whatnot, but at the end of our trip, the snow started pouring down on us. And the roads were actually getting frozen over. And so we're in our truck and we're going down the mountain. And all of a sudden, we hit some frozen ice. And our car starts going out of control. And let me mind you, we're on this big mountain, bro. We're on the edge of a cliff. And the whole time, while all of us are kind of like freaking out, holding on, bracing ourselves, I'm keeping my eyes on my dad. Because I know my dad, he's, he's the king, right? He's the king in our whole family. And one thing my dad's always been very good at is keeping his composure, just staying calm in times of adversity. And so I'm sitting there in the back seat. My eyes are locked on him because I know if my dad remains calm, if he remains cool, we're okay. Nothing to worry about. But if he starts freaking out, okay, now I know our lives are actually at, at stake and that things aren't looking good. And so I kept my eyes on my dad. He's just grabbing the steering wheel like this. He's laser focused. And finally, after a few moments, boom, he gets us back on track on the road and everything's fine. Everything's chill. But it was kind of weird during that whole time, though it was, you know, I'm not going to lie, it was scary. But at the same time, I was watching my dad and I had this peace, inner calmness. Why? Because my dad, he was calm. He remained stable during that crazy time, that crazy moment of adversity. So hey, look, the moral of the story is you as a man, you gotta stay calm. And hey, look, a man who can stay calm in times of adversity, that's a dangerous man. And this is such a turn on for a woman. I can't even tell you guys. When a woman sees you as stoic, when she sees that she can rely on you and that she can put her security, her trust in you as a man, she's gonna wanna stick with you through thick and thin. The last thing a girl wants to see is her man like a chicken with its head cut off. A woman is looking to you, my brother. She's looking to you as the captain. When that storm hits, when waves are crashing onto your ship, how are you acting? How are you responding? See, emotional men, they're just completely unstable. Oh, babe, uh, I don't know what to do, man. My boss is yelling at me and uh, just things aren't looking good. I feel like I'm at the end of my rope. Like, uh, everything is just, uh, oh, it's stressing me out, babe. This is not how a woman wants her man to react all the time. Now, don't get me wrong. If you have something on your heart, on your chest that you need to talk to your wife about or talk to your girl about, if you're going through a very difficult, hard season of your life, don't get me wrong. Of course, that's what she's there for. She's there to be your helper, to be someone that you can also lean on sometimes. But there's a difference between confiding and complaining and re reacting and getting upset and whining and just always being like in this scarcity mindset. Your girl doesn't want to see you like that. If you have a problem and you really need to talk to her about it, then yeah, of course, go to her and be like, hey babe, you know, um, this last month I just, I've been really dealing with this, this and that. What do you think I should do? What's, you know, your perspective on this? And then have a calm, cool and collected conversation about it. And number six, one of the most important ones, especially for you young guys that are just starting off a relationship or just talking to a girl, Stop bragging about yourself. The more you 
talk about yourself, the more you actually lose power. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying to just never talk about yourself ever and just just be quiet all the time. But there is that thin line and most men, what they do these days is they constantly brag about themselves to show their value. And if you're truly doing what you need to be doing as a man, if you're following God, you're following Christ, you're doing your duty, you're mission focused, you got a business you're working on, you're steadily making money, you're in shape, then honestly, bro, you don't need to do much talking. Your life talks for you. Your life speaks for yourself. Simple as that. Most guys these days, they're all talk because they're trying to constantly cover up something. They're trying to hide the fact that there, there really is nothing going on in their lives and they actually, they actually have a lot of lack. So therefore they're trying to fill that up with just a bunch of talk, a bunch of gibberish. And the more you talk like this, the more you constantly brag about all yourself and your past achievements. Paradoxically, the more it just makes you look insecure. Think about this, bro. Imagine like you're out and about, say you're at some like cafe, this like coffee joint or whatever, say you're in line, and all of a sudden you start a conversation up with just some random guy and you know say he's kind of quiet kind of on the low-key side kind of keeps to himself but you engage in a conversation with him you're talking about whatever sports or something and then all of a sudden he gets his coffee and he heads out and then say behind you while he's walking out you start hearing like oh is that is that what's his name oh is that so and so and oh shoot oh wow 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 and you look back and you're like what the heck and all of a sudden you see that guy, everybody's talking about him, and then he heads out, walks out the door, and then you see him jump in, say his Lamborghini or Bugatti or something like that. That right there, you're gonna be like, whoa, that, that's a lot more respectful, a lot more profound than if you were in line talking to some guy and he's just quacking, talking about all the stuff he's about to do or what he used to do or all the businesses he runs and how he's like been on the Fortune 500 list. So with that said, you wanna kinda take this concept and apply it to your friendships, your relationships especially, and just stay low key about it. And kind of going back, we're gonna go full circle here back to the first hit. When you stop bragging and when you withhold a little story, you don't reveal everything, kind of like Star Wars like we were talking about, when you make her fantasize, this is gonna keep her on her toes. This is gonna keep her genuinely intrigued with you. You let your life do the talking, you don't have to sit here and just constantly just freaking run your mouth like diarrhea. And along the way, you just give her little tidbits here and there, keeping her fantasizing about you, keeping that mysterious persona. And that right there, bro, that's how you become that mysterious man that girls desire. With that said, my brothers, hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a nice big thumbs up, hit the notifications to be informed when I drop the next one. And hey, the Masculine Masterclass, is available right now. Be sure to get access to it. I'll put it down in the description below. And hey, if you want to completely transform your life as a man, check out this video right here and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace always.